The next 10 years will bring more change than the previous 100 years. I know it's hard to believe when you look back 100 years, World War II, World War I, the nuclear bomb, the internet, right? e-commerce, uh, Bitcoin. Right? But yeah, 10 years, we're going to see all those things that we have now, which are called the game changers here, uh, right over here. Those are all going to get together and create really, really powerful effects as we've seen in the media business, for example, or in publishing or in social media, creating very positive, positive, powerful effects to complete change of the food system. You know, right now, basically, if you're 20 years old, then television for you does not mean the cable and the TV. It probably means a computer and the internet or, or a laptop or, or an iPad or your phone or whatever you're going to use to play it on. But take a look at the game changes. Key realization that we have to understand, understand those. Big data cloud computing, the Internet of Things, everything connected, uh, quantum computing, which means uh, supercomputing already here, but quantum roughly five, eight years, unlimited computing power, um, natural language processing, being able to speak to computers uh, using natural language voice interfaces, uh, intelligent systems, I'll talk more about that in a minute. The blockchain is going to be absolutely everywhere, not in the way that you think, but just smart transactions, smart contracts, not Bitcoin, I don't think. 3D printing, been long tried, finally happening. Yeah, we can 3D print our earlobes and, and kneecaps and even our dental implants now. And of course, virtual reality, augmented reality, uh, being able to reread the world. And finally, genetic engineering, which I will talk about later. And it's not that relevant to our, our, this current, our current discussion. So you take all those 10 game changes together and you get this really powerful blend. You basically put them all in the giant cocktail mixer and boom, out comes the uh, Kaipinrinja of the future. It's basically a complete mix of all these things coming at the same time. We have to understand this uh, because, you know, for humans it's actually quite difficult to think exponentially and to think of so many things at the same time. So it takes a bit of practice. But um, as I like to say, the future mindset is the one that that wins because we can understand and we can put it together and we can realize things maybe just a tiny bit before they happen. <laughs>